I really want to look at what's there over here. What kind of garbage are people throwing the most? Are we throwing the most? So you can you can see that there's there's a lot of plastic bags that are being thrown. Say a, a bit of uh, half-eaten groundnut shells over there. There's even a bulb over there, and there's one more over there. Half old clothes that have been used. Some animal uh, waste over here. There seems to be all kinds of things that are being thrown. But if I have to really pick the most harmful of these, or the or, or the hardest to deal with, then I think. What, what do you think you'll pick? You'll pick the plastic bags, right? Look at this. There are a few here, but if you really begin to look around, what's gonna stand out are the number of plastic bags that have been thrown. So I think most of us are just taking the garbage in our house. Putting it in a plastic bag and just throwing it out over here—that's what's happening. Now, why is that much more dangerous than we think? For example, I just threw a banana peel over here. The question I'm really asking is: Is throwing a banana peel the same as throwing a plastic cover over here? What's the difference between the two? If you throw a banana peel, after a while, if you take a look at it, it'll look different. After a while, it'll look black, and it would something would have happened to it. But if you throw a plastic bag over here, it's going to remain there. In the same way, for a really, 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 really long time. In other words, there is no concept of rotting for plastic, and that makes it extremely hard to get rid of. And there's a name for this: the fact that it's very hard to get rid of. It's non-biodegradable. What we mean by that is, when something is biodegradable, it means that little microbes, little sort of germs, will act on it and do something to it, making it easier to get rid of or at least use. As what we call manure, you'll learn about this very soon. But something like plastic cannot undergo this process. There are no microbes that eat plastic and make it something simpler. It just doesn't exist. So it so happens that, say, a banana peel or cut vegetables, all these are biodegradable. So all the waste food that you have are biodegradable. They are degradable by biological organisms. But say, even a cow could come and eat that banana peel and walk away, and that's not a big problem. But the plastic is going to remain. And the bigger problem is that animals are going to try and, when they're looking for biodegradable things over here, they're going to end up eating some of the plastic as well. And that's a real problem because they might end up dying very soon. It can get stuck in their, maybe in their throat or inside their stomachs. To keep learning with such engaging videos, download Byju's the learning app today.